So Adnan Redzovitz is no longer in the fight with Huey Fury on the Tyson Fury Vladimir Klitschko on the card. Um, depending on where you go online, there's slightly different reports as to why some people are suggesting he's pulled out. Uh, I've read online that he was actually under some sort of European Boxing Union ban due to substance abuse, some sort of steroid type abuse. So who knows what the truth is. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. Um, it wasted 10 minutes of my life recording a video about the fight. Um, but there we are. He's out of the fight. It's frustrating times for Huey Fury and Team Fury because it's the second opponent who is out of the fight after um, the initial opponent, Nikolai Furfa, withdrew for whatever reason. Uh, he, they, the Team Fury have done well in many ways to find a rep opponent. It's not the ideal opponent. It wouldn't be your first choice opponent at this stage of Huey's career. But they've got in Konstantin Eretz. Um, who is probably best known to UK fans for going three rounds with Anthony Joshua. Now, in hindsight, that isn't actually the most terrible performance, given the way Anthony Joshua got rid of Kevin Johnson, Gary Cornish, those type of guys. You know, going three, he deserves a bit of credit. And Konstantin Eric, you know, back in the day, he was actually a, you know, a fairly solid fighter. I remember him coming over for prize fighter once with a winning record, uh, I remember he went the distance with Odlanir Solis, uh, maybe even over 12 rounds, you know. He went the distance with um, Glaskov over 10 rounds, I think. So this guy's durable, you know, he can take a punch. He took quite a few good shots of Anthony Joshua, and it's likely that we'll see uh, him take a few of Huey Fury as well. Um, more recently in his career, it does appear he has become the journeyman who's, who's turning up to lose. He's on quite a big losing streak. Uh, I've noticed that he tends to get stopped a lot earlier in fights now than he used to. You know, the kind of guy who could go the distance with Solis and Glaskov, you wouldn't get think would be getting stopped by Rodenko in five, but he did last time out. And that's interesting, actually. It's an interesting form line, because as we know, Huey Fury beat Rodenko fairly handily, and Rodenko got this guy out of there in five. Now, obviously, it's not as simple as fighter A beating fighter B, so he can beat fighter C. You know, it doesn't work like that. Um, but you'd expect Huey Fury to have... Konstantin Eretz fairly comfortably. The skill gap is large. Uh, the size gap is going to be large as well. You know, Eretz is a smaller heavyweight. He's six foot, six foot one, or something like that. He, he's in his late thirties now. Huey Fury, obviously, big guy, lots of momentum early on in his career. You should think that Huey should win this fairly handily. I don't think Huey's power is going to bother Eretz. Um, I think. You know, Eric should get through the first rounds. I don't see Huey just blowing him out of there. Eric's has got some durability and he's been in with big, big punches, possibly bigger punches than Huey Fury, it's fair to say. But I expect Huey Fury to wear him down, get a mid round stoppage, you know, rounds five through to six, seven, eight, something like that. Uh, I think the, the assault of Huey Fury, the bo body work, the combination punching, and mainly the gap in class. He's just going to wear down Eretz and, you know, it seems some of the ambition has been beaten out of him in recent fights and I expect Huey Fury to win this fight with uh, relative ease. Uh, as I say, possibly not the best opponent to showcase Huey on the biggest stage that he's fought on so far, but Team Fury have done a good job to get a fighter like Eretz, who's at least semi-respectable in on this sort of notice. Uh, I expect Huey to do a job on him, I expect Huey to look good doing it. Eretz doesn't really offer anything of any real concern. You know, you wouldn't want to bet on Eretz having any chance of winning the fight. He's he's too small and too limited. Um, but, you know, nevertheless, good opportunity for Huey to, to stay active, which I like, and to hopefully continue his progression. Let me know your thoughts on this fight. Look forward to it.